Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula. I'm Scott Ramp, and I'm Noah McAvoy. That, that went was... pretty smoothly. Yeah, it did. Yeah, I know. And I interrupted you at the last part. Yeah, we always try to talk at the same time, so <laughs> I was quiet today. But it's Friday. I'm excited. Uh, all the college kids are going to be filing in all day today. The uh, mm -hmm. university will be accepting um, college students to basically into the dorms, all that stuff. Of course, there's always early enrollment. That's how they get you to pay an extra $500, $600 just to stay for the first two days, like Wednesday and so on. It's only like 20 bucks a night. Yeah, yeah. But it's orientation has been going on all week. Uh -huh. um, new kids coming in. Yep. Um, they're going to have the uh, president, the uh, univer the state of the university address. Uh, uh, president of the university, Royce Engstrom, is going to give a little address of what's going, what's what's happened, what's going on, some of the new programs, and of course the um, football season. Yeah, yes. So that's coming up. That'll be at 10 a.m. Yep. And Scott will be filming that and live streaming yes, it to we'll our channel. Yes, we'll be live streaming it or on live, our website. Local live, um, yeah. MCAT, uh, our Facebook page on MCAT, mm -hmm. our local live, uh, MCAT.org, if you want to watch there. So there's, and on YouTube. So you'll be able to stream it on anything. So if one doesn't work, you can check out the others. It's, it's, it, it it should not not work unless there's something problem on my end, but I should have my phone with me and I'll double check to make sure it's streaming. So if you say, I can't see anything, and it's like, well, I can. It's your problem. Fix your problems. Yeah, not ours. It's all you. <laughs> and we but I'll say that. it like in a very like nice way, like, you know. Uh, yes. <laughs> it happens all the time that people always come in with complaints that we can't see anything. But if 300 other people can see it, then... I don't know what I to tell know. you. I know what to tell you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Three, but, then you're then you're then you're against three hundred people. It's true. But this yep. weekend is also River City Roots Festival, yes. and there's lots of music going on. So I've got lots of events for you guys uh, for today and tomorrow. Uh, nothing for Sunday though, because you guys should all be sleeping, and yes. that's the Lord's day. But of course, um, <laughs> it's going to be great weather outside this weekend. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be too hot because the last couple of Roots Festival last year was hot too smoky. And smoky. The year before was too hot. This year mm -hmm. is just right because yep. um, it, currently it is 41 degrees outside. Um, your high is going to be 74, and it's going to be mostly sunny. So, good to, so if you guys are planning on going to the Roots Festival, today is the day. Your low is going to be 46, and then of course by Saturday it's going to be partly sunny. It's going to be mostly cloudy through your Saturday night, but of course, we're not going to see any rain. It's going to be perfectly cloudy weather, and it's going to be nice and pretty much great. It's just going to be great weather. It's going to be in the low 80s um, to high 70s mm -hmm. all week long. It's perfect time to basically start off your school year. It's, it's true. It's the last great weekend. Enjoy it while it lasts because this is the last uh, part of the summer, basically, for last most Last weekend kids. of summer for most everyone. I mean, yep. it's summer for me. And us, because yeah. you're not in school either, until it's September 21st, because mm -hmm. that's the first day of fall. <gasps> yeah! But I'm excited. Uh, Noel, you have a whole bunch of um, River City Roots Festival yep. events to talk uh -huh. about later today. Yes, I do. I've got um, music. I've got art. I've got, um, let's see, they've got, what else do they have? I'll tell you guys about it. Yeah. yeah. So um, if you want to find more, more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So, it's so nice we made you write it out twice. You can like us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter. You can check us out at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on our Facebook page. And for more information, just go to MCAT.org. But of course, uh, before I basically jump right into uh, new programming, we have, we're going to be uh, advertising our new Do It in 72 year. Oh, it's nice. a brand new Do in 72. Um, I, Christian rehashed uh, last year's Do in 72 thing, awesome. but it, it doesn't take away from the fact that this is uh, Do it in 72 is coming up. Uh, I do believe it's coming up end of September, early October. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the date's correct because I think he just pretty much just rehashed a couple things. I'm not sure if he got the date right or wrong. But, you know, we'll see. Knows? We'll let you guys know. So you guys get a chance to see this is a little PSA. It explains a little bit more about what Do in 72 is. And here it is. The countdown begins. MCAT's Do It in 72 Hours or Less Film Contest. Any theme film, under five minutes. $500, top prize. $300, second place. $100, honorable mention. For more information about entering the festival, contact MCAT, www.mcat.org, or call us, 542-6228. Yeah, nice. so that, that was, was an explosion. <laughs> and of course, uh, if you guys are interested in doing that, you can contact us, 542-6228. But of course, if you're, that's the same number you can call us if you're interested in being on our show, talking about your upcoming cause, rally, um, concert, uh, event in general. It's, mm -hmm. it's a great uh, morning talk show for that kind of thing. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what we're for. Yay. Um, but of course, I do have some new program, and this is the uh, Pain um, Initiative con um, Conference number three. And I think, you know, like now that I think about it, I think I filmed it, but all these shoots kind of tie in together, so I just kind of forget about you what have no I shoot. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, okay. So, anyways, this is uh, this is the Pain Conference, and it's on tomorrow at seven p.m. And they're talking about uh, opioid addiction. Ooh. So, and when we come back, we'll have the events with Noel. The number of overdose from opioids per year was almost exactly the same as the number of deaths from GI bleed from NSAIDs per year. And I, I just want to comment on that, that um, we're all up in arms about opioids and how dangerous they are. But NSAIDs, I mean, they're still over the counter. Uh -huh. And um, I don't know, I, I think that deserves some... Uh, some spotlight. NSAIDs are pretty dangerous. I definitely agree and that's part of why I chose to put such a focus on talking about the GI toxicity and cardiovascular risks with NSAIDs because they are um, readily available to patients without prescriptions um, and I knew we'd have a wide variety of audience members out there to offer up education but there are a lot of risks associated with NSAIDs so we do have to be careful of who we recommend them to but they Oh, <laughs> oh, hi, <you> guys. <laughs> Sorry for that awkward transition. <laughs> we are back. So I've got some stuff going on on Friday. So what I have, um, I've got some children's activities and then music, and then I'm going to go into River City Roots stuff for your Friday. So at first, we've got family fun time over at Mismo Gymnastics at 9.30. This is a uh, supervised and safe environment full of obstacle courses, trampolines, and foam pits. Family story time is at the Missoula Public Library. That's at 10.30. This is a theme story time on the Dragon Rug, which may include songs and an art activity. Tiny Tales is also at the Missoula Public Library, also 10.30. This is for the younger crowd. This is ages two to five. Um, and they, no, 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 babies ages birth through three years. They sing songs, they learn finger plays, they hear nursery rhymes and stories. At the Children's Museum of Missoula, they're going to be having stencil fun today at 11. Also at 11 at Spectrum Discovery area, the Discovery Bench is Bubbles and their Brain Lab are Brain Games. At the Missoula Public Library, they've got their final day of the kids' table, so all summer long from Monday through Friday, starting at 11.30, they've given free lunches for those ages 18 and under, and so today is the last day. There's Teen Writers Group at the Public Library at 3.30. This is a writing group for ages, for grades six through nine, I believe, no. Yeah, teen writers, they're teens. Yep, just teens. Just just those crazy teens. So you can uh, let your inner artist flourish and you can get and give good feedback, play with words, eat some chocolate, yeah. There's spider feeding over at the Butterfly House and Insectarium at four o'clock. This is Rosie, the Chilean rose hair tarantula. They feed her every day and you can learn about spider hunting's habits and their, uh, yeah, feeding habits too, cool. At the Union Club, there's Irish music session at six o'clock. At the Zootown Arts Community Center, they've got their girls rock camp. They're doing their performance. That's uh, just at six o'clock. Larry Hirschberg will be playing Tens Food Vineyard and Winery at six, and then Zoo Zoo Apocalypse. That was mm -hmm. hard to say. We'll be at stage one twelve at eight o'clock. Um, this is featuring Universal Choke Sign, Blasidum, Two Foot Tightened, and Shot Stereo. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's, it's uh, twenty one dollars if you're uh, okay. So it's tw if you're ten dollars for yeah. twenty one and up. Thanks, Scott. Ten dollars for twenty one and up, and twelve dollars for if you're eighteen and up. Sorry, it's that only was because weird. the age and the um, prices switched around. Yeah, that it really, really throws you off. It's like twenty one dollars yeah. for ten year olds. Yeah, and eighteen dollars yeah. for twelve year olds. That was that really threw me off. Because yeah. you know, twelve year olds are way worse than ten year olds. They are. They need yeah. to they're, they're, charge them. They're like the worst because they're self aware. But it's like, it's become self-aware. Ah, and 10-year-olds yeah, yeah. are still just like, woo, what? Yeah, there's, whatever. They just mess don't stuff get. up. Yeah, they don't But the 12-year-olds 12, 12 know they're messing up, and they keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Jerks. Yeah. Anyways, what was it going with? Okay, 12-year-olds um, are terrible. 12-year-olds are terrible. <laughs> yes, I agree. Okay. So um, over at Monks, they've got summer sessions with Boston Tea Party and Iron Eyes. It starts at 9 o'clock. Um, I don't know too much about Iron Eyes, but Boston Tea Party is Boston McDonald is one of my coworkers at Taco del Sol. And the Boston Tea Party is really good. They're like, I would say they're like, 
they are their influences heavily are around the 90s so like nirvana and um you know all those cool alternative 90s bands i don't know <laughs> any other ones to name but their sound is really cool so go check out boston tea party um, over at the VFW, they've got a band. So they've got uh, GDBH, Young Go Hards, Bird Smile Home, and Battle Stations will be playing at 9 o'clock. And it's, if you're 21, it's $5. And if you're 18 to 20, it's $8. So there are lots of 18 and up shows this weekend for all you college kids coming back that aren't 21 yet. At the Palace, they've got a show. It's called The Last Best Friday. It's Louis Meziers, M Meisner's. I can never say anyone's name right. Meisner's EP release party at 9:30, um, and then he's got a couple other more band. Got a, got a couple other bands. Sophistical is playing at 9:30. No show is at 10:30. Captures at 11:30, and then Louis Meisner goes on at 12:30. Yeah, um, and then 406 is playing the Sunrise Saloon at 9:30. Russ Nassa and the Revelators are playing the Union Club at 9:30, um, and then Top Hat Lounge is going to host the River City Roots after party. That will be at Shakewell, and that'll be at 10 o'clock. So now we're going to go into River City Roots stuff. So the full schedule, I'll have you guys take a look at that. So you guys can go to RiverCityRootsFestival.com and you can check out the full schedule events. And so they have for Friday, they've got a family fun festival, a juried art show, food court, street bars, music on Main, family friendly Friday, and a boys and girls club family concert. Come for the food, stay for the music. Yeah, and so... They've got that, so as far as music goes, um, this is what they've got going on on Friday. So Friday, 2.34 is Gypsy Moon. That'll be on main stage on Main Street. 4.30 to 6 is Fruition. And then 6.30 to 8 is Daryl Scott. And then we close out with 8.30 to 10.30 Little Smokies. And then Shakewell will be at the Top Hat Lounge for the after party at 10.30. And then we've got Family Fun Festival at Karis Park. They've got lots of youth performances. So if we'll take a look here. Super Skippers is uh, going to be, it looks like, I think they're at Karis Park or else they're on the main stage. I've always got a kick out of the Super si Skippers. Yeah, 11.30, 12.30, Tingle Tones, uh, 12.40 to 1.30. So you guys can kind of see. We've got Evans Disney Magical Entertainment, Rocky Mountain Ballet Theater, The Salamanders. There's activity booths as well. We've got activity booths from the Boy Scouts, Championship Training, Missoula Food Bank, uh, Missoula Parks and Rec, Missoula Public Library, On Center Dance. So they'll have lots of activities for children as well. And then we also have an art show. And so you guys will take a look at here. We've got an art show from all these artists. So it ranges from paintings to clothing to jewelry to wearable to fiber sculptures to ooh, real butterfly wing jewelry. Yeah, pottery. So that's great too. So that's what's going on in River City Roots Festival and your community. As always, you guys can check out MissoulaEvents.net or just go to RiverCityRootsFestival.com for the full schedule. We're switching gears now and we're going to Musical Notes with Asaf Adonai. First of all, um, before we start, it was in 1920, this very day, that the 19th Amendment went into effect allowing women to vote in the United States. The suffrage movement, that was this very day in 1920. Yeah. Yeah, and I just wanted to throw that bit of trivia for your audience there. It's amazing how behind the times the U.S. was then. <laughs> I know, they're still behind the times. I mean, women even, aren't getting paid equally. Even the slaves were e able to vote before women. That's yeah. terrible. <laughs> well, anyway, I just want to throw that bit of history there. Yeah. Okay. For comedians, or I should say comedian, our guest on today's musical notes, comedy isn't her job, it's a way for her to share her faith and overcome depression. Our guest is an Emmy-nominated and best-selling clean comedian, often billed as the Queen of Clean, Shonda Ruth Courtney, known to the world as Shonda Pierce, and there she is. <laughs> I don't know if you recognize her or not, but this lady is incredibly funny. And what's neat about this lady, she doesn't do any off-humor jokes, no sexual jokes, because they'll have, like, teenagers and children. She just does family, clean comedy, and it's, it's just outrageous. I mean, your sides would be hurting watching this lady here. Well, and that's hard to do these days. I feel like sex sells, you know, so, like, clean comedy. Yeah. you got to be and real funny. And she just chose not to do that. And Entertainment Tonight has said about this lady... The devout Christian's record sales have made her the top-selling female comedian in the country. 
cool. According to Entertainment Tonight. And let's catch her in action with that video, and I'll do some narrating here. Now, you won't be able to hear it like with these videos, but see, she's talking about the birth order of children in the family. She happens to be the like middle child, the third one born, and she's complaining about that. And she's also complaining about her younger sister who watches Lassie and cries <laughs> and says there's something wrong with the sister. And so she says, what are you crying over Lassie for? That dog will make more money than than our father will ever make and see. So <laughs> you just gotta uh, watch this. It's just so funny watching this lady here. But to tell you a little bit about this lady while that's running, um, she is a nom she's an Emmy nominated best-selling comedian and she is the RIAA's most awarded female comic in history. Billboard magazine dubbed her the country comic and she's been making audiences laugh for decades by sharing stories about her southern upbringing and family and things like that. She um, is the host and she's a host, author, and also an actress and she has channeled her challenging life experiences into positivity like this here. She has a book out called Laughing in the Dark and a documentary with the same name she had contemplated suicide at one time because of some of the tough things she's gone through, like losing her husband of 31 years to brain cancer, being estranged from her daughter for a time, similar to what um, Melissa Rivers went through with her mother, Joan. And just all this stuff was in her life, and she was able to make lemonade. <laughs> Look at that picture there. She was able to make lemonade out of the lemons that life has given her. She has received five daytime Emmy nominations, and she co-hosts Aspiring Women on the Total Living Network, and she has a television special called This Ain't Prettyville on the CMT Country Music Channel. And by um, Pole Star, she's ranked as one of the top live performers. She has five DVDs that have been certified gold and three DVDs that are certified platinum. And she has battled depression throughout her life, kind of similar to Robin Williams. But in her case, she was able to triumph and mm -hmm. just bring a lot of joy to the world. She yeah. graduated from the yes. Trevecca Nazarene University and the Austin Pay State University before she got into comedy. And she can play the piano and sing. And um, finally, her charitable works. She's an advocate for world vision to help children in need. Compassion International, the same organization where I sponsored my child, Gracia, and um, Food for the Hungry and Feeding the Children. So she has done all those works. And it's amazing mm -hmm. that this lady can do this considering everything she's been through. And this is just a flyover. Yeah, to even get the motivation to like continue on to do that stuff after all these hardships yeah. is quite yeah. amazing, too. Yeah, losing a husband of 31 years, that's mind boggling. Oh, so. I can't imagine. Yeah. And she was interviewed by Brooke. Brooke Anderson of Entertainment Tonight about her dark times mm -hmm. and she's triumphed over that. Yeah, she sounds great. Well, I'll have to look her up. I've never heard any of her comedy, but it takes a real funny person to like do clean comedy and still have people like, you know, stitching Well, she's themselves. ranked like uh, in the category with Lucille Ball and cool. Robin Williams and some of the other comics of past and current. So nice. check her out, Shonda Pierce. She's a wonderful lady. Nice. Thank you very much, Asa. As musical notes with Asaf Adonai. And up next, we've got an art clip. Yep, this is, this is Vermin from the Clay Studio, and it'll be playing until next Tuesday. So you gotta get check it out before it's too late.
back and I've got events for you for your Saturday as well as uh, for River City Roots Festival. So the events that I have for Saturday I've got things for you to do outside. Up first we've got our Missoula Farmers Market at the Red X's at 8 a.m. Uh, the People's Market is over on Pine Street in Higgins right in front of the Thomas Mar Bar as well as outside of Jimmy John's. Starts at 9 and we have our Clark Fork Market down at Karis Park that also starts at 8 a.m. At the Milltown State Park, they've got a Bird Habitat Connections. Um, and so it's a day of learning about the variety of bird species in the, in the park. They're going to play a migratory game, maybe create a bird feeder, and take a walk on our trails to identify as many birds as possible. Professional birders will also be there to help identify birds. Uh, the kids will learn about science, so you can bring your own sack lunch, and it'll go until about 2 o'clock tomorrow. I would think that you can meet them out at Milltown State Park and I don't believe that's too far away. At Frenchtown Pond State Park, they've got their paddleboard lessons that starts at 11 a.m. So from 11 to 12.30 and 1 to 2.30, cost is only $45. They provide all the equipment, you just have to show up and be willing to learn. At the Garden of 1000 Buddhas, they've got their weekly garden tours and meditations. So at 1 p.m. will be a guided tour, and then at 2 p.m. will be a guided meditation. It doesn't cost anything, they just ask for donations, and it goes through October. And now, so that's what's going on during the day outside. Now we've got some music for your evening. Uh, we're going at 9 o'clock. We've got, uh, uh, let's see, a couple bands over the VFW. <laughs> we have um, Pender, Tiny Plastic Stars, Jay Sherry, and Ancient Forest. That'll be at the VFW at 9 o'clock. Little Smokies and Steep Ravine will be playing at the Top Hat Lounge at 9. Absolutely, absolutely with Chris Moon, we'll be playing at the Badlander at 9. Roxy Theater has got a movie cult, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure at 9 o'clock. The 406 will be playing at Sunrise Saloon at 9.30. Stage 112, they've got uh, Sammy Warm Hands, Ogre Burl, and Local Support. That'll be at 10. Um, and then the Good Fi Time Travelers will be at 10 o'clock, and they will be at Monk's. So that's what's going on during the day, and some music that's not related to Roots Fest. And now we're going into Ro River City Roots Festival things. So, for Saturday, they've got their Saturday markets. They've got a four-mile fun run. This is put on by Wild Run Wild Missoula. If you want to register for their four-mile fun run or do that, just go to runwildmissoula.com. Go to their website. It's not through Roots Fest. They're just putting it on as, as with Roots Fest. Um, so they've got their Family Fun Festival, and so the Family Fun Festival on Saturday looks like for performances, we've got Patty Creek Junction, um, YMCA Yoga, Living Rhythm, Community Drum Circle, Child Bloom Guitar, Double Bubble Dance Party, Animal Wonders, and Downtown Dance Collective. Ooh. And then also one of our summer camp kids, a couple of our summer camp kids, um, Jack and Mason Catmull, they have got a band. Yep. And they are called Telltale Hearts, and they will be at Karis Park at 4 o'clock. Yep. And Scott and I are super excited to go see them because... Yeah. They're one of our kids, and they're yeah. one of the kids who've been coming to our Saturday drop-ins. We're pretty... Uh, and I just love them. They're mm -hmm. just super cool. They're really, really fun. And they're, yeah, they're just great kids. And yeah. I'm just excited to and see them. And that's around four o'clock at Karis Park on Saturday. A bunch of kid bands yeah. are going to be performing. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to like it's like the bands that were, were made from the Zach, all their rock camps. I think it'll be uh, yeah. I think it'll be a combination of like zoo, of Zach kids rock camps as well as some other kid camps. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, Telltale Hearts, which is our kids camp, our kids band. They said that they I I'm not quite sure if they were together mm. if they formed their band out of kids rock camps but maybe either way it'll be pretty cool yeah and so I've just got a couple more events going on so we've got our activity booths for children uh, you know everything from home resource to Montana National Guard climbing wall to uh, Osprey fun zone to travelers rest those are all the activity booths and kids activities that will happen and we've got our art show as well and uh, like I said that's everything from jewelry to wearables to fabric to pen and ink paintings to paintings to photography to pottery to mixed media rock planters wind chimes everything you want that'll be in the middle of Main Street um, and then our music so then our Saturday main stage lineup we have got the Whiz Pops at 12.30 to 2, Good Time Travelers from 2.30 to 4, 4.30 to 6 is Soul Driven Train, 
Six thirty to eight is the Jeff Austin band, and eight thirty to ten is going to be Rodney Crowley. And so you guys can go on to RiverCityRootsFestival.com for the full schedule, full lineup, everything going on this weekend, and then as well as other events that I may have not talked about or that I did talk about. Just go to MissoulaEvents.net. Yes. Yeah, so that's what's going on in your community, everyone. We're switching gears now, and we're going to uh, the Boys and Girls Club video. So yep, what did this, you tell us about this? Uh, this was the uh, um, unexpected last video of the okay. Boys and Girls Club. Um, I thought they were going to come on uh, Thursday and Friday, uh, but they never showed up on Thursday oh. and Friday <laughs> last week. So I was like, okay, I guess this is the last movie. So I edited this on Tuesday, and I'm showing it for you guys today. And it's called The Last Scare of Boys and Girls Club of Missoula County. Right. It's a long title. I was like, whatever. <laughs> I could have made it an acronym, but I was like, no. But here it is, and when we come back, we'll give our final farewell. <laughs> yeah, I'm the best bodyguard in the world, yeah, sure. Where's that other bodyguard? I don't know, go and eat snack stuff. Go find him. Fine. So, yeah, you can subscribe to me and stuff like that. Um, damn, I forgot to check. There you are! Where the heck have you been? machine won't work. Yeah, they're like a dollar worth and then the vending machine just goes. And I think it just gets stuck. Yeah. Well, it's a vending machine. Let's throw it out. Yeah. We'll throw it out later. Yeah. What are you doing? I am doing a um, subscriber thing. YouTube. You shouldn't be doing that. Not my fault. I was at the vending machine. I was trying to get pop chips. Less on pop chips, more on pop stars. Sorry. What do you want us to do now, boss? Your job, which wait outside. What are you doing? Are you just gonna stand there? Huh? What are you doing? Are you guys messing with me? What? Is, is there something wrong, ma'am? My tooth is numb. Don't tell me. You just dressed up in some fat clown guy. I'm not fat. Um, what do you mean? Um, you mean that guy behind you? gonna be useful just leave me alone I'm trying to help you boy there's more to this place than the what meets your eye say so no way out of here maybe As long as you don't feel them, they can't hurt you. Uh, you grumpy old man? Remember what I told you. If you don't listen to me, if you feel, they'll kill. 
you know, you just said don't listen to you, so I'm not gonna listen to you. Get away from me, smelly old man. Go take a shower. <laughs> okay. You should listen. Man, it's like the smallest thing in the world. Gosh. Oh, my camera, free camera, sweet. Finally. <laughs> That concludes. That, that was terrifying. And you know what was so scary is that music. It was that music. Because without that music, I think it would have been really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was funny. I mean, I was it's, a, it's a kid's movie. The kids wanted to make a horror movie. And love, kids love those horror movies. They, they don't really like. Do. They don't like to make those, you know, stupid hokey like. Oh, oh there's a cute girl in the school. I, must, I gotta impress her by doing yeah. stuff. And like the boys do not care about that they kind of stuff. They do not they, care. They don't care. Like no. if you've seen the movie, it's like no, it's maybe this, like one or two boys that like like girls at that age. But most of them are just like I don't care. Yeah. Like, at all. It's true. It's true. They don't care at all. It's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> the girls are like. And then, then, then. And it's like, what are you talking about? It's like, we're dating. And it's like, well, are we? It's like, <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Uh. <laughs> um, the summer camp kids that we're talking about earlier that has a band that we're going to see tomorrow, Mason, he's uh, got a little girlfriend. Yeah, little and girlfriend. he's like, I think he's like 12. Is Mason yeah. 12? He's 12, and his brother is like 13. And so his brother, Jack. No, his brother is going to high school this year. Oh. Yeah. But his brother tells us that Mason and his girlfriend don't even talk to each other. Like, they at just all. text. And then when they see each other, they like smile all shyly and then don't say anything. Yeah, they, 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 they live, their relationship lives in text. Yeah, yeah. And he hasn't seen her all summer. <laughs> they have uh, what they call textual chemistry. It's super cute because that's like classic 12 year old. That's adorable. Well, it's not really classic because it's new because we didn't have texting in our day. Well, but I remember being 12 and like writing notes and being like, oh my God. <laughs> But it's not as embarrassing now. It's like a little more like self-contained. It's true, cause like if you wrote notes, you can get those notes taken away and read in front of class. One time, I broke up with a boy over a note, and a teacher found it and read it in front of the class. I just can't. Isn't that it. terrible? I was like twelve. Isn't that awful? Yeah. That poor guy. <laughs> he loved me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh man. It's just not working out. You you just don't talk to me you just don't talk to you, me we don't we don't you don't eat with me at lunch you don't even look at you, me you just like you don't you are we even dating <laughs> <laughs> like there's, there's change in school huh when you like someone when no I was in the third grade the I like is still there like me and it didn't work yeah she yeah. threw she threw a piece of bread and mayonnaise in my face <laughs> Well, that's how it worked back then. Like you had to, you heard each other. To oh, like, the old mayonnaise routine. Yeah, that's what ah. happened to me when I was in third grade. I was trying to get this girl to like me. And I used to chase her every day. At oh yeah, school. oh yeah. So okay. when she, when I chased her one day, she was hiding behind a wall. She went. And you never chased her again, huh? Nope, never chased her oh. again. Oh, humble pie. Humble pie. <laughs> yeah, humble pie. That's pretty well, funny. you gotta watch so. out that um, the mustard. Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh gosh. All right, <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to get this microphone. We we just have to physically move ASAP because he's he's pretty far away anyway. Yeah. So we'll move him right. next time. Next time, yeah. Next the, time the, we're talking about technical stuff like <laughs> the <laughs> show. This All is right. something we should have done before, but you never we're know. It's, yeah. Our show's over. It's yeah, over, our show's everyone. pretty much over. <laughs> uh, if you're interested in being on our show, you can contact us at five four two six two two eight, otherwise known as five four two MCAT. You can either email. You can also email us MCAT at MCAT.org. But of course, our websites are awesome when it comes to um, us getting back to you. So wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. <laughs> you can do the little contact us little tab and it gets sent directly to our email. So you put your name, email, subject, and your little message. Wow. And Facebook also has Messenger, but you have to like us first. Uh -huh. And Twitter, you have to follow us and I'll tweet you back. Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter at MCATTV Missoula. We also have a Facebook page. You can like us on there and to find out more information, just check us out at MCAT.org. Yep. So for Wake Up Missoula, I'm Scott Ramp. For Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noel McAvoy. Here's Asaph Adonai, and we'll see you all on Monday.